YouTube and YouTubers and people clicking on this video, I got a review of Black Myth Wukong. I finally finished the game after, I don't know, maybe like over 50 hours, under 70 hours maybe? I finally beat it. I did play the game on stream a lot of the time, so if you want to go back and check those bots, they will be available. There's also a video coming up of my hyper-edit Wukong journey. Um, but let me talk to you about my review. So if you guys just want the number, here's the number. Out of scale of 1 through 10, in a scale of 1 through 10, I give this game a solid nine i give it a nine out of ten it's pretty close and i know at the beginning of the game i started off with a, a 10 or a 9.5 uh, um but it definitely has a decrease there's a couple of issues that i found in the game that i that bothered me um some of them are bugs some of them are not bugs and some of them are just combat and stuff so i do have a couple of things that i want to go over first and foremost i hope that this nine does not take anything away from how amazing the game is literally my favorite game of 2024 and my favorite game in a very long time i cannot find an, a, a game that compares to this from combat audio design music um presentation of the cinematics and or story um the graphics just the attention of detail is really like amazing the team has definitely poured their heart and soul into this game and i really am happy that the game is seeing a lot of success both in the china or uh, in the east and in the west i am very very happy i hope that the team continues to make original um great uh, content for us to enjoy so let's get into some of the good things um the presentation amazing audio design great the music the soundtrack i couldn't stop bopping and twerking to some of the tracks in here that were really 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 good i think um I think that they're really a good uh, a good thing i have zero clue about the journey to the west or what this game is based off like the lore behind it um but even myself who is not really a lore enjoyer or a story enjoyer i kept looking at some of the presentation like um I'm sorry there's gonna be a little bit of spoilers ahead but some of the cutscenes and some of the animations that were presented with like the fat guy that got gutted and then there was a bunch of jewels pouring out because of people's greed there was like symbolism i don't know if, if you want to say that but there was like some clear messages there about greed and other stuff happening and love and i again i don't want to pretend like i really followed with the story but it even kept me a little captivated in certain moments, so I really enjoyed that at least. Um, so I can't really speak too much of the story. So again, you'll probably never get that from me in any review that I do. Um, but I really like the way it was presented, very beautiful, uh, amazing. Um, sorry i hate to say um all the time let's talk about the graphics graphics amazing the way they were presented every waterfall every rock every curvature every boss original bosses with the lightning particles with some of the hidden bosses and the the lady flying in the air and throwing icicles down i felt like i was in an animated uh, movie it just felt like a journey like a real journey uh if i had to describe it it, it felt like i took a huge journey to the west mayu and it was really really great so i can't really say anything negative about presentation audio graphics story presentation all of that really really immaculate boss designs you will never encounter a boss a duplicate boss at least i didn't maybe i skipped something maybe the frog bosses that you fought a couple of frogs but I, those are mini bosses and i didn't mind those those are pushover bosses in a ways difficulty i think is just perfect i don't think there were super annoying um that it take you like 20,000 kills to uh tries to kill a boss like an elden ring where it starts to get like anger inducing and you want to yank your vagina hair straight out it was not like that it was very chill pace enough difficulty um that i think majority of the players will get through without complaining and you can definitely make it a lot easier for yourself by using potions and other stuff building according to boss fights um so i would really encourage that if you are having a, tr a trouble clearing a boss use consumables and or tailor your stats according to bosses this game definitely made it pretty easy to go back and change your stats to make it a lot easier for you 
fighting every boss. Every boss can be countered by adjusting your stats. Um, so gameplay wise, amazing. Um, here are a couple of things that I don't like about the game and why it is a nine. Sometimes when you are doing some combos and you're charging up your heavy attack, there's this weird invisible wall. Like you're literally up in there. You are touching the boss while you're holding down your heavy button and you whiff. He's not doing anything. You're literally in front of him. You can't go further because you, his body is blocking you and you release your heavy button and no damage, nothing. I can't tell you how many times that actually happened in combat. It is one of the most frustrating, annoying things ever. Um, I think that brought it down to maybe uh, from a 9.5 to a 9.3. There's a little bit of jank, but I wouldn't say too much in the combat department, I, w I, I do think they can tailor it a little bit better, but whatever hard combat there was from the bosses that didn't really annoy me, it was annoyed by that heavy attack. And I can't tell you how bad that was at times. Um, the invisible walls, not only in combat, but out of combat as well. There are some hidden stuff like secrets in the game. The game teaches you that this is a hidden, that this is a wall, an invisible wall, and you can't go any further, right? So the whole, throughout the whole time, it's a very linear experience. This is an invisible wall. You can't cross it. Good. I'm okay with that. I have no complaints until you add secrets behind invisible walls. So they train you to think that you can't climb this, but guess what? You can in some moments. So moments, some moments you, you accidentally fall down and then there's something there. And I don't think that is great design. A coupled in with that sort of design, there's also the compass and lack of map. No compass, no map. And some of these um, areas are very annoying to get through. Reminiscent chapter three, I can't think of anything more annoying than chapter three when it's a huge open uh, place and you have no map. You have no coordinates. I must have spent an additional maybe 10 hours on just trying to find my way through um, the uh, snow place. And I know that you guys can sit here and say skill issue, but I think that's a game flaw. Um, if there is not a little, at least a little compass, I think the game would have been a lot better with a compass or a map. But anyways, chat and other little things here and there, which will bring the score down from a perfect 10 to a nine for me, a solid nine. Voice acting in Chinese, amazing. Great work for the voice acting. I could, I, I have no complaints from the audio side. It's really good. Um, so yeah, let's um, cut this video short. I think that we deserve more games and we deserve more hard work from all development companies, including China. I am very, very happy to have played this game and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. If What is your review of the game? Put it down below. If you made it this far in the video, put it down below in the comments. What do you think of the game? Uh, rating one through 10, what do you rate? What would you rate it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. All right. See you guys. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.